You might think that I am doing this walk back to front. However, I started by soaking up the glorious architecture of Ely Cathedral, finishing with an equally fabulous sunset at Ely Country Park, the cathedral silhouetted in the background. I was conducting research for an Olympus event day. On the day itself, several of my students joined the hallowed fraternity of angels. Because of low light and a variety of lighting sources, photographing these amazing places is not straightforward. These images are taken on both trips, the research day and the event day itself. I tried to keep the ISO on 200 for maximum quality, only increasing to 400 when pushed. I used the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II and the 12 to 100 Pro lens. Now both have very effective image stabilizers that work together. It is quite likely that shutter speeds will extend to what an eighth of a second, even a quarter, maybe longer but this camera and lens combination works perfectly when hand-holding, particularly at wide angle when potential camera shake is minimized and depth of field increased, even at f4. As for lighting, I cheat. Because I always save to RAW, I leave the white balance on auto and make adjustments in post-production. The best exterior views are from the west at Palace Green or Ely Green to the south, where extensive parkland allows for different viewpoints. If a tour of the Octagon is available, that is recommended for different outlooks including wide-ranging views over the cathedral city. Access Ely Green from the college through an arch and continue to the river, the Great Ooze, here bathed in evening light. Rising near Milton Keynes, it makes its way to the Wash and the North Sea via Bedford and Huntingdon. Take the path on its northern bank and walk east on Fen Rivers Way. Now, for greater detail, consult Ordnance Survey Explorer Map number 226 that you will find will be helpful. At Cuckoo Bridge, turn sharp left and follow Kiln Lane under a railway bridge for Ely Country Park. Converted from clay pits, the smaller lake gives uninterrupted views to the cathedral. I timed my arrival with a fantastic sunset, and having already studied the map and noted sunset time, I soon found a good viewpoint at an unfamiliar location. Because I was shooting into the sun, albeit partially screened by high cloud, the 12 to 100 Pro lens was not, I'm afraid, the best optic. Fine in the cathedral, but not so versatile here. Better would have been a prime, perhaps the 17mm f1.2. Never mind, you do what all the soothsayers tell you not to do, and that is stop down to f16 or f22. I know you are risking diffraction and loss of quality because of a small aperture, but the consequence of flare with a wider aperture is far worse. I leave it to you to pass judgment. You can return to town by continuing on Springhead Lane to a road, then turn left, or retrace your steps back to the river, provided, of course, it is not dark by now. <laughs>